welcome to this video. I am very excited. I'm going to be showing you all the books that I have and this is like the start to my book obsession. So I don't have like hundreds of books but I definitely have quite a few and I want to reorganize it, get it all together as well as some other stuff. So I'm going to be showing you guys what I have and this is like the beginning of an era and hopefully something that lasts forever because it's always slightly been a dream of mine to own books and when I get older, well I'm already 19, but when I get even older and have my own house that I could have like this little library section, you know? So this is the beginning of hopefully something that turns into more. So I'll also be telling you a little bit about each book as we go through them. Okay guys, first is my self-help Christian books. I have more actually over there and I just realized that. Let me get them. Okay, I, I don't think I can pick it up. Um, I'm gonna try. Okay. Ooh. So <laughs> these are all my Christian, my self-help, my Bible, uh, devotionals, all those types of things are right here. It's getting kind of heavy. Um, but I'm gonna show you each and every single one of them that I have. So to start, I have this one, which I haven't read yet. It's C.S. Lewis, The Problem of Pain. And I don't know, it sounded interesting. So I will read this eventually. I have this one that I got a long time ago. It's called Daily Devotions by Teen Girls, 14 Girls. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. Um, so I'm gonna make a pile on the floor. <laughs> and then I have this one, which I'm gonna actually get into. This is one that I'm hoping to do in the fall. I don't know why, but it just seems like a devotional I wanna do in the fall or maybe before then. It's called Yet, The Promise in Habakkuk for Those in Transition. Um, going into sophomore year of college this fall and I really feel like this is gonna be helpful. So yeah, I really love the cover of this too. It's really pretty and I don't know, I like it. And then I have In the All Together, which is by the comedian Taylor Johnson. It's talking about, you know, being vulnerable in the church and just in general because we tend to feel like we can't be vulnerable and like hide away and all those types of things so I have started this one a while ago and I never finished it so I have with a lot of these you'll notice I started them and I didn't finish them so I'm gonna be changing that not all this year of course but over the next couple of years my goal is like all the ones that I picked up and haven't finished actually finish and yeah so that one prayers for the future husband I don't know where that one came from Ooh. Uh, 1 Corinthians, it's a little study guide for 1 Corinthians. I have two Sadie Robertson books. I'm currently reading this one actually right now, um, and I love it. I've been reading it for a while too, and I'm in the process of finishing this one. And then this one I got for Christmas and I haven't finished it or started it. And then I have this one, which is definitely on my TBR list because I really want to read it. It's called Find Your People and about building relationships from by Jenny Allen, Building Deep Community in a Lonely World. I have Worship Matters, which I started like years ago in a group, like a book group church thing and never finished it, but I want to. And then I have Submersive Sabbath, The Myth of Equality. I don't know if you even saw that, The Myth of Equality and Old Testament Survey. These were all from a class I took this last semester and I enjoyed them. They were really good. I didn't read all of them all the way through though because we didn't have to. I will definitely be keeping these though because I think they have a, make a lot of good points in from what I've read and I think they're really helpful and this one's also really helpful when studying the Old Testament in the Bible. So Romans from Alabaster Co and my actual Bible. And then I guess I have this one which I don't really know what genre I would consider this. It's called Alone Together. I hated this book. Like genuinely hated this book. It was for school. It's that's why it's got tabs. It's because I had to read it and I had to study it. Um, I'm genuinely going to figure out if I can resell it or maybe give it to my school for anyone else who takes the class because it was it looks interesting and I thought it sounded interesting, but I really did not enjoy the concept of this and I thought it was kind of a strange argument the way she went about a lot of the things out of the chapters that I read at least. So that's a no go for me, but that's it. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely a dusty situation and it's kind of gross. <laughs> okay, as you can see, 
there's a lot of books behind me. Okay, I think it's kind of weird that you can see me right here. Like, that's kind of bothering me. But I have no way to fix that because this is, like, mounted to the wall. Um, anyways, I have a ton of books back here. We have some that don't even have, like, the actual sleeve covers on them. And the reason for that is because... I put these on my shelf over there and I like just the color. I still keep the sleeves. They're in like a little container that I have. Anyways, so I guess we'll start there then. Um, I have Dangerous Secrets, the story of Iduna and Agnar. Loved this book. I read it within two days. I actually have a whole book review on it if you want to go watch it and like a summary and all that. Um, but anyways, this is definitely staying. I love this one. Then I have Lost in a Book, which I also loved so much. Um, it's by, I want to say Jennifer Donnelly. It just says Donnelly on the cover, but I can't remember her first name. Um, anyways, really good Beauty and the Beast story. Probably my favorite one that I've read. I actually have another Beauty and the Beast story called As Old as Time, A Twisted Tale, What If Belle's Mother Cursed the Beast. So these, I've read these two. I haven't read this one. This one's on my TBR for this summer. So that's that. Then... I haven't read this one. My sister gave it to me. It's called Paintings from the Cave. It's really small. I think I might read it soon, actually, because it's so small. But apparently it's super sad. I don't even really know what it's about. Um, but yeah, that's one that I have. Maybe I should do something where, like, you guys pick what I read next, like, on Instagram or something. Go follow me on Instagram, and then you might be pick my next read. Anyways, I have You Bring the Distance Near, which I got in the eighth grade, and I've read it before, and I really, really like this book. It's actually one that re-sparked my love of reading. I don't know how, but it did. I think it was because I got a signed copy because I met the author, and it was just so exciting, and yeah. So this one was a good one. I have this one that I thrifted. I haven't even touched it. I haven't read it. I don't even know why I got it, honestly. I didn't, at that point, I wasn't like super into reading. I was trying to get back into reading. And I think I just wanted to get a book at the thrift store. Um, I don't know. I'm not really interested in this. It's called Looking for Salvation at the, da at the Dairy Queen. I don't know. Should I keep it? Should I donate it? Maybe my mom would like it. I genuinely can't see myself ever reading this. I'll research some reviews on it before, I think. This is going to go in like a maybe pile. Okay. This is a journal. <laughs> um, I have Finding Perfect by Colleen Hoover. It's the novella and I haven't read the series, so I don't think I can read it until I read the series. I don't really know what to do with it. I am keeping it though. Um, then I got The Siren by Kira Cass, like literally two days ago because I went to the bookstore. Not even two days ago. Was it two days ago? I don't know. And I'm very excited for this one, so definitely keeping it. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I have a book review on this one too. Make sure you check it out. I'll have all of these rather like in the little eye wherever it is or down below. Then I have this one that my mom got. It's called Enola Holmes and the Black Brooch. I think this one is like a, it's part of the series, but I, I kind of want to read it. So I'm keeping this one for sure. The Sun is also a star. The Sun is, yeah, The Sun is also a star, which I also have a book review on and I'll link that also below. And then The Lost Kingdom of Bamar, which I also have a book review on, and I'll link it down below. Um, this was a good book, from what I remember. I don't really remember it, so I could probably reread it. I wonder what the cover looks like. Maybe I'll take the cover off. That's a pretty color. Ooh. I think I'm going to put this with the other ones. That seems like a good idea. So, anyways. Then I have Uglies, which is the first book in the series, which I finished this book, and I had, I had no desire to read the whole series honestly it like kind of ended and I was okay and like didn't feel like I wanted to keep reading but it was a good one on its own so that's that I'll keep this one also and then I have a poem book by Bella Mayo called My Greenhouse this is the only poem book I own and by far it's still my favorite I've read other poem like parts of poem books from people but this one is a really good one so I recommend you get it I have a thousand heartbeats Oh my gosh, this is my favorite book of all time. This is like a five star, six star read. Oh, I love this book so much, which is also a really pretty cover without it's just a bright purple. So I might also put this one on that shelf. I'm not really sure yet. We'll get there when we get there. And then I have, this is taking a complete turn. 
in the genres right here. Uh, Norton, the Norton Field Guide to Writing. And it is just a textbook that I had, but I keep it because when I am writing for other classes and if I ever like have like a question about stuff, I can refer to it. So I am keeping this one for sure. And then I have this textbook, which I don't need. It's called Moral Choices. So I'm gonna put it in that pile. And then I have Beach Read, which I'm actually gonna be returning because I didn't like it. So I'm gonna return that one soon. So I'm not gonna shelf it. Um, and then up here, I have The Chronicles of Narnia, which I read. Let me read book six. Ew, look how dusty that is. That's disgusting. I'll dust it, don't worry. <laughs> I didn't read book six or seven. Weird. I think I started book six. I don't know why. I think I got bored. Like, not bored, but like, you know when you read too much of one series? And then you're just like, I'm so, like, I need a break. I didn't give myself a break. Instead, I just, like, kind of stopped reading. So don't do that. If you're reading a series and you want a break from the series, stop, read a different book, and then come back to the series. There is no harm in doing that, honestly. It, in fact, will boost your desire to read more. Um, and then I have the Hunger Game series, which was gifted to me or given to me. These three were my uncle. Um, he gave them to me and then this one my sister and mom purchased and then they left it with me so I could have the full set and I love it. I really love the series. I actually love this book and I'm so excited for the movie. Oh my gosh. Anyways, so those are those. Those are these. Um, they're all hardback except for this one and that kind of bothers me a little bit but it's okay because it's still a pretty cover. So yeah, I have all those and I'm definitely keeping them. I can't get rid of these. These are like sentimental value and I I just couldn't. Anyways, I think that's every book I own. Genuinely. I'm trying to think if I have any other ones anywhere. <laughs> Okay, so I knew there was another book that I had. It's called Uninvited, and I've been reading this one. I'm not that far. Um, this one is really good also. So over here I have Invisible Life of Addie LaRue and A Thousand Heartbeats. I put both my Kira Cass books right by each other because I'm trying to keep the authors together. Then I have my two Disney ones, um, and then Uglies, and Little Holmes, because the colors went well. I like, tried to keep the colors well right here. My Greenhouse, and then Finding Perfect, The Sun is Also a Star, You Bring the Distant Near. As you can see, I tried my best to keep the colors going well, but I don't know how well of a job I did. I'm actually debating, like, if these would look better swapped, but then the genres are mixed up. That makes sense. So, I don't know. Um, that one, and then all of the Christian self-help ones. And then ones that can help like study the Bible and then my Bible and then my book journal. And then guys, I have all these drawings from my students. So if you're wondering what the heck is going on here, that's what that is. It's all just drawings from students last school year. So anyways, at the very top, I kept some textbooks. I was going to get rid of one, but I kept it just in case. Now we're going to go work on that shelf. Okay, I'm going to stand on my bed. <laughs> um, the shelf is definitely less about keeping genres together and more just about looks because it's a really big fo focal point of my room so I like to just make sure it looks good um so as you can see over here we have C.S. Lewis The Problem of Pain Uninvited and My Book of Romans by Alabaster Co as well as my personal journal so yeah that's that and then it's just decor and then I forgot to show you guys I have these really tiny books um where my grandma gave me I obviously I'm not going to read them because they're so tiny, but you know, they're just little classics and things like that, which I keep kind of here. I move them around a lot because I can never decide where I want to put them. And then lastly, and then over here I have a candle and the Yet devotional as well as Lost in a Book, The Lost Kingdom of Burmar. I really love the colors. <laughs> this video and I hope you guys stick around as I continue to grow and buy more books because now I realize I just made space for more books so I actually have room and I'm very excited I will always make room for more books so I don't even I don't care I'll buy a little bookshelf if I need to um, but that's all for this video please 
make sure that you subscribe or comment or whatever. I love you so much and you have such value and I hope to see you again. So I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.